my name is Eric Gonzalez, and I'm a junior. It's like a self-portrait. You might be able to submit a self-portrait. If you want a brief overview, you know, 6th through 10th grade, I was pretty much the example of what not to do at YES. It started off, and it was pretty rough. Coming to the school, I, I didn't want to come. I had friends going to other schools. I had friends that um, make fun of me for coming here. And I did a lot to try to get out of the school. I was on a final contract. If I did anything else, I would, uh, I would get kicked out. So I had detention to serve, and I was goofing around, got caught, and um, I got kicked out. My parents kind of freaked out. My dad, my dad's really strict on my grades. And um, yeah, they, they found a school in Louisiana. I always thought yes was strict. It was nothing compared to that school. I mean, I'm like, the first, the first two nights that I cried myself to sleep. So I realized I really screwed up. So I, I wrote him a letter, you know, apologizing, and I went in to see if I can come back to yes. And it was, it was amazing. It was, it was like I felt like I was right at home. I don't think I've ever had a teacher that just gave up on me. So where are your target schools? He's really worked hard to turn things around for himself, both academically as well as just his behavior on campus and the way he carries himself and the way he interacts with others. So he's gone from what some might consider a really challenging student to one that's really become a, a pleasure to have on campus. All right, so basically this is a spud gun. Potato launcher. In here, we put the hairspray. As you press the igniter, there's a spark in there. So this goes in here. It's just a piece of cloth wrapped in tape. And usually you use potatoes, so the pressure launches this out. So when you plug in all the numbers, for example, the average time, the average distance, which gives you the initial velocity. Hairspray. hairspray. All right, go. It's close, it's close. Oh. I've been painting for five years now, and being able to express myself that way is amazing. So what this picture depicts is uh, two soldiers, and one of them is painting on the wall, Union by Force, which kind of goes back to the fact that I believe that like we're, uh, we're in the Middle East trying to put uh, you know, two different groups of people together, but we're really forcing them. Uh, like I feel like it won't uh, necessarily work out once we pull out. And uh, you have the soldier watching his back, kind of uh, representing the fact that, you know, the, if you try to speak out like that, you have to have somebody watching your back. A lot of my friends were getting into gangs and so on. And I had a friend who drew. He drew a lot of, like, uh, tattoo art and graffiti art. So I slowly started getting into that and trying to avoid the whole, you know, gang issues and all that. But I started moving out of that and started using what I learned and what I know to create these murals. I did one for the school. In the background, it says E Plebius Unum, one for all. So, you know, it, it just gives that sense of community that, you know, you're not at the school alone. You're family with everybody here, and including the teachers. I'm working on, a, on another mural right now. And that's getting a lot of attention. It's pretty cool, it's just representing the, the music scene in Houston is from the 30s to today. So like, they're in panels, so those panels are gonna be auctioned off, hopefully. And then that money is gonna, well, at first it was gonna go to me, but I decided I wanna make it a, a scholarship fund for the school. So, I mean, that's another thing I wanna leave behind is, you know, money for students to be able to go to college. For more information about what works in public education, go to edutopia.org.